Hello guys and welcome. I'm here to show you my latest creation, so let's just jump right into it and see what I have for you. I think um, all of you are familiar with the defocus node, which is used to simulate the uh, camera blur or the bokeh effect. And as you can see, it does a reasonable job with this image. Um, let me mention that with this kind of image, uh, it's kind of easy to get some acceptable result with the focus. Um, but I think this is not good enough. I think we should have better. So I made this little macro called Filmic Blur, which is based on the defocus. So if I increase the blur right out of the bat, I think I get a hugely better result. But let me tweak it a little bit. Let's go into the highlights control and maybe add some gain in the highlights. Uh, this is uh, simply a threshold control. So let's tweak the shape a little bit. Maybe add one side. And let me zoom in here for a moment. As you can see here, I have this chromatic aberration, which I'm gonna enable. And I think this is subtle, but it's nice. It's a nice touch nice to have. Let's see the difference. This is the defocus and this is the filmic blur. I think it's a huge difference. Let's see it in motion. Uh, in terms of performances, with the defocus you get 11 to 12 frames per second on my machine and with uh, the filmic blur I get 7 to 8 frames per second, which is good considering what's going on under the hood. Also, I added this aspect drop-down menu, which will give you the opportunity to choose between a spheric, which is the one that you're seeing, and the anamorphic lens. So the anamorphic is uh, made so that it matches a 2.4 aspect ratio uh, as uh, a real uh, anamorphic lens would uh, actually do. So as you can see, this is the result, which I think is really nice. Um, uh, when in anamorphic mode, the um, performances drop a little bit from 7 to 8 uh, we go to 5 to 6 frames per, se per second which again is really nice considering what's happening under the hood but as I said this image is pretty easy for a defocus node to handle let's make it a little bit harder for the defocus and let's choose this image let's increase the defocus size and just try to tweak it I mean, you can live with this. I think it's better if, if like this, but I don't know, it's kind of dull. I, I think we, we need better. So let's bring in the filmic blur. And let's see what I can do with the filmic blur. So as you can see right out of the bat, the result it's already looking better but 
let me tweak it a little bit. So I think the, the water part of the image is looking nice, but the clouds are uh, overexposed. So um, in reality, what I think is that these reflections uh, are way brighter than the clouds itself. And here comes in place this filming highlight mask. I add a um, rectangle tool and pipe it into the highlight mask. And let me... softness yeah this is much more like what I would get I think in reality let's let's have a playback I think this is a huge improvement over this or maybe this see the difference I think this is a huge improvement. Let's see what happens if I enable some chromatic aberration, maybe the anamorphic. I think this is truly beautiful. I mean, it's not 100% photorealistic, but I mean, it's better than the defocus and, you know, it's free, which, what do you want more? Um, let's kick this one up a notch again and let's try with, with um, this image which I think would be the hardest on, on the three that I choose. Let's add the filmic blur and let's see what happens here. Uh, let's go to 20 just for the sake of this demonstration so that we can see better so it's not bad it's not bad I mean it's not bad right out of the bat and let's enhance the highlights a little bit Again, let's add a rectangle mask. Sorry, not in the effect mask, but into the highlight mask. Yeah, something like that. And much less. And let's see what happens. I mean, I think it does a great job on handling this image, which otherwise would be really, really tough to get a nice result like this. And okay, I think it's a wrap for me. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one.